You will learn basic troubleshooting techniques in case if your screen started showing strange or incorrect colors. Testing with external monitor. Here testing of the video output or an external monitor is observed. Now connect the laptop to an external monitor using VGA cable, DVI cable, HDMI cable or S video cable depending upon a type of connector you have. You can see the difference between two laptop screen out of which one laptop is faulted showing strange colors. Some laptops detects external monitor automatically and initiates showing image on both screen right from startup. Some other models can detect the monitor but display image on one screen. Some laptop detect external monitor automatically and initiate showing image on both screen right from startup. Some other models can detect the monitor but display image only on one screen. Here you find enlisted keyword to detect related issues. Before proceeding further, let us understand what does video on external monitor shows. If the internal screen and external monitor shows incorrect color or any other image, they show the graphic card failure. Some other reason can be bad connection or bad LCD cable. Now in order to resolve problem related to LCD screen cable, let us look at its functioning. Screen receive data signal from motherboard through LCD cable. If there is loose connection, the screen will reflect such difficulty. For this, reset the LCD cable connector and see if it fixes the problem. With the help of twisting the LCD cable, we can resolve the problem. LCD cable run inside the display panel under the screen. For this test, it is necessary to disassemble the display so that you can use the cable. Now our laptop is running, now check the cable by twisting it because small cut on cable led to distortion. If screen changes with drag line, give indication of defect in it. Now you must replace this cable to eliminate fault. Another method to resolve the problem related to display is to apply pressure on top part of display assembly. If it results in charging screen showing line different colors which implies that screen has get damaged and now you have to replace it to solve problem. How to test screen inverter? Inverter failure is similar to backlight lamp failure. In both cases the screen gets dark and image become faint. The only solution is by replace it with the other one and see if screen lights up. You cannot connect a new backlight lamp and see if your presumably bad inverter lights it up. Inverter is raised inside the display panel below the screen. In many cases, you can use it after removing the display bezel. The left side connector connects to LCD cable. The right side connector connects to backlight lamp, which is mounted inside the screen. By using multimeter test whether inverter is getting supply or not, if reading is 19.4 VDC on that side of the board, it shows that it is getting power from the motherboard. You can see the connection point from where reading is to be taken by placing two probes of multimeter. If still screen is not getting light, there may be lamp failure. For this unplug screen backlight cable from right side of the inverter and join a known good backlight lamp. While testing backlight, it gets turned on, the lamp inside the screen is bad. In that case, you will have to change the screen if it does not turn on. Most likely, it is inverter failure. Replace it and test the laptop again. You can see pictures of backlight connector as market on images. Let us study troubleshooting a backlight lamp. You need to follow some step. Firstly, this laptop was tested with an external monitor connected to the VGA port and the external monitor worked absolutely fine. Now closely look at the laptop LCD and notice the screen is not completely black. If the screen still get data signal from video card but from some reason backlight lamp does not work then problem is related to the late closed switch and faulty inverter board or bad backlight lamp. Cut off the power from inverter board to clean lead close switch. 
If there is no power coming to the inverter board, the backlight lamp will not light up. If the lid button worked properly, it didn't stuck inside the case. The image was not bright and it had a pinkish tone, a pinkish indicate a problem with backlight lamp not the inverter board. Even after performing said solution backlight failure was suspected then, testing of this laptop was done with a new inverter board just in a case. Now disconnect the screen backlight lamp connector from the inverter board and connect it test backlight lamp. Be sure that the connector on the backlight lamp is same as to the connector on your LCD screen. The laptop screen has a faulty backlight lamp. You can see picture with backlight lamp failure. If your laptop background has re reddish tone, the screen flicker and it makes noticeable vibrant noise coming from the backlight and inverter area and backlight turns off by itself that noise stops. When the backlight is off, the image on screen is still visible but it is very dark. Test backlight works absolutely fine. The lamp does not flicker and there is no buzzing noise. This shows that the screen bezel is faulty and was removed then and connected the test backlight lamp. Now a keyboard is a typewriter style device which uses an arrangement of button or keys to act as a mechanical levers or electronic switches. How to fix a broken keyboard connector? The cable retainer is made of thin plastic and if it is broken when apply much force, you are in trouble as this part is not sold separately. You must remember when connector is closed, the cable protected between the retainer and base, the retainer applies some pressure on cable and it makes contact with the pin inside the connector. To unlock it accurately, you have to move the retainer about 2 mm in the direction shown by two yellow arrows and pull keyboard cable to remove the keyboard.